On the 8th of April 2024, a rare event will happen. A total solar eclipse will make its way across part of the North American continent for the first time in eight years. It will be visible in many major cities and will be different to the last eclipse in a few ways. In this video, we'll talk about why it's a special eclipse, as well as where it will hit and how to best view it in a fun and safe way. The last time that America saw a total solar eclipse was the 21st of August 2017. These eclipses happen when the moon passes directly between the Earth and the Sun during the day, on just the right path to perfectly block out the entirety of the Sun for a short time. The fact that this can happen at all is actually down to an amazing cosmic coincidence. You see, the Sun is a lot bigger than the moon. So how does the moon ever completely cover the sun? Well, the moon is about 400 times smaller than the sun, but it's also about 400 times closer to the earth than the sun. These numbers are therefore perfectly balanced and mean that from our point of view on earth, they look the same size in the sky. So if and when the sun and moon line up, a perfect total eclipse is possible. It's even more impressive when you realize the fact that the moon is actually moving away from the earth. As it orbits us, it moves further away by about four centimeters per year. Now, that's not too much on its own, but this happening every year does add up. And in the future, the moon will begin to look a lot smaller to us. And there will come a point where total solar eclipses are no longer possible. So enjoy them while you can, because our ancestors in thousands of years won't have the pleasure. They will get rarer and rarer, and one day they just won't happen anymore. Even now, not every eclipse is a total solar eclipse. As the moon orbits us, it also changes how far away it is from us throughout the orbit. So even now, sometimes it's too far away to block the whole sun. And instead, we can get annular eclipses or partial eclipses, where the moon either blocks just part of the sun or does pass exactly between us, but a small amount of sun is still visible around the edge. Of course, the creme de la creme of eclipses are the total solar eclipses, because they instantly turn day to night, causing temperatures to briefly plummet and stars become visible in the day. Also, you might not realize it, but total solar eclipses actually happen once about every 18 months. The issue is they're sometimes only visible over the ocean or from other remote places, meaning that eclipses over heavily populated areas that are easy for most of us to see are rarer, often separated by many years. Wherever you are on Earth, you could expect a total solar eclipse overhead about once every 400 years. So if you're not in the US for 2024, just stay patient. One will come to you eventually. Now, the one in 2024 is even more exciting than the one in 2017, at least in my opinion. That's because the 2017 eclipse happened during solar minimum, where activity visible on the surface of the sun was around its lowest. In 2024 though, we're heading towards solar maximum, where the sun's activity is increasing more and more. This same fact is actually a nightmare to those of us working on space telescopes that don't like to be bombarded by the associated radiation from the sun. But for the eclipse, it will look very cool. In 2017, when the moon completely covered the sun, a time we call totality, we could see the sun's atmosphere, the corona stretching into the surrounding space. You can see amazing prominences coming off the sun and see particles tracing the magnetic field of the sun. On Earth, it gets as dark as night, stars are visible around the eclipse, and the moon is visible in photos as illuminated by Earth's shine. Excitingly, in April 2024, the same things will happen, but the structures and details visible around the sun should be turned up to 11. The sun's magnetic field varies on an 11 year cycle, and right now it's reaching a low, where parts of the sun actually have effectively no magnetic field. This is normal and predicted, and means that the sun's surface is less contained by the magnetic field, causing more and larger limbs, flares and sunspots to be visible on the sun. So when the moon covers the sun in 2024, we'll see so much more structure around it. There should be more activity on the sun for us to see, and the photos that come out of it should be even more mesmerizing and exciting to see than they were in 2017. So that's why this eclipse will be amazing. But where can you see it, and how can you safely look at it? 
This animation, which admittedly I've sped up a lot, shows the path of totality. So anywhere in this path will be able to witness the total eclipse in April. There's a great moment just here where the eclipse will be simultaneously visible in five different states. And if you're outside but near the path of totality, you'll still be able to see a partial eclipse where the moon will cover just a part of the sun. The eclipse will start in Mexico, traveling through Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania, upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, plus parts of Canada, such as southern Ontario, central New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia, and Newfoundland. Many major cities are on that path, and millions of people will be able to see this amazing eclipse. This is the part of this video though where I have to give you a warning to never look at the sun or at an eclipse with your naked eyes. This can damage your eyes and cause permanent eyesight issues, so please don't do it. There are loads of cool ways to experience an eclipse without looking at it with unprotected eyes. Remember, practice safe sun. Always use protection when looking at an eclipse. You can buy eclipse glasses from loads of places online, and these just block the most dangerous bright light, and you can pretty much just see the sun through them. You can use other forms of eye protection too, like welding masks, but you need to make sure the protection is shade 14 or more. Things like ordinary sunglasses aren't enough here. Other ways to see the eclipse involve using or making something to make a shadow. The classic thing here is to make a pinhole camera. This can be done pretty easily and can even make a really good activity to do with kids. It involves putting a small hole in some tin foil and sticking it to a larger sheet of paper to make it easier to hold. I'll leave a link in the description of this video to instructions for how to do this. The idea is then to hold the pinhole over a flat surface or ground during the eclipse, and instead of looking at the sun, you watch the shadow cast on the floor. This lets you safely watch the shadow of the moon pass over the sun, without needing to buy any special glasses or equipment. Another fun thing to do is just use a colander, or strainer, what do you call those things in America? Anyway, one of these from the kitchen. It does the same thing, but you get dozens of shadows showing the eclipse. There are even natural colanders too. Things like trees with lots of gaps cast many, many shadows of the eclipse too, and these are super cool if you spot them. Let me know down below if you'll be able to see the eclipse in 2024, and if so, how you're planning to view it and celebrate the day. If you can't see it where you'll be, there is another one in 2026 that will hit parts of Europe, and another six attempts in the next 10 years, so I hope you can all see one of them eventually. I personally don't have any plans to make it to America this year, but hopefully the one after in Europe is more doable for me. If you're watching this after the eclipse has happened and you saw it, then please tell me all about it in the comments too. I'd love to hear how it was. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you're new, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot, and it's a real fun time here. We talk about all things space and astronomy. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!